And we're back. I hope everyone is doing well at Seabash 31. We have returned to Silent Hill. Since we last left off, we got Maria. We've checked Jacks in. And we're we're moving on. We're moving on to this area right over here. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. This has been a, a really one hell of a journey thus far, and we've only scratched the surface. I have someone with me now, and I think she would like to go bowling. So I think that's her move. Oh no, not you. You need shoes. That's why you're upset. Dang. Did not want to go down, did it? I'm on the hunt for kills with my whooping stick. Get all the melees we can get. The overhead smash is my favorite attack. That creeper van just keeps showing up. You must have been driving that. But you ain't got hands. Why does she have to stay so close? And she's just watching James just like tee off on these things. She's thinking it's about time someone had to do something about these. These monsters everywhere, these damn mannequins. What have we got? Oh, hell yeah, look at this. Found all the pops. Health drink, health drink, health drink. Hell yeah. My man's thirsty. Maximum grip tires found in Silent Hill. You're gonna need maximum grip tires driving around the fog like this. Easiest way to get in an accident. Okay. So let's, so we're right here at the gas station. Let's ride this out. Oh, I was going to say, let's ride it out until it dead ends, but holy hell, we're at the dead end. Look at that bowling. Yes. Look at the guy throwing. That's a strike. Nice toss, dude. You too. I love this. I love the bowl. Bowling's so much fun. Actually, in a uh, bowling league, we made it to the playoffs, and and that's where it ended. These 
parking lot is whack. What's this say? Yep, I almost had it. Pete's Bolorama. Welcome. Food. Drink. That's not. That was not doing it properly. Okay. Nothing. We gotta go around to the front. I'm going bowling. I'm totally going. I'm bringing her with me. It's not a date. I'm here to find answers. But, you know, we, we could use a little break. Pick up the phone. Make a call. Here we go. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. Oh, she hates bowling. She doesn't want to go in. Hurry back. I will take my time. I'm going to roll a 300. Tell me what to do. What'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Huh, Where'd you get that pizza? Facts, What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were out for you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? Yeah, like, sorry for stepping on my hand, I little girl. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Did you find the lake you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? Excuse me? You talking about Mary? Can't switch the camera behind me. All right, we're, we're rocking this angle. Drink. in here anything couldn't even see that door lordy b Hello?
Hello? Snacks. Is there a map of this place? No. Of course not. Hey, how about a slice, huh? I think you've hey. had enough. Oh, um, you're James. We met in the apartment building. Yeah, when you're puking your guts out. Yeah, I remember. But are you alone here, Eddie? Um. That's not creepy. Bye bye. Wait, come back. Betty, let's go after her. Huh? Laura? But why? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? <laughs> fine by herself. Said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. Forget you. I like this song. Give him a piece of her mind. Give me your pizza. Who is that girl, anyhow? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. I'm at least going to roll some games here. Look, you can run down the lanes. Oh, there should be items down here. Come on. This is wild. Well, I hit X too fast. I wonder what I found. I'll know when I rewatch this because I'll be able to stop it. Something I already had, so it's nothing crazy special. But hey, we, we did get something. I wanted there to be an item in the lanes, and there was an item in the lanes. Now, I want to pick up that green ball and, and throw it. Where am I? Where am I stuck? There we go. I think that's all we got. He has nothing else to say. He won't share his food with me. Who is that girl, anyhow? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Lies. Give me some pizza. What was he eating? Like a Supreme? It's probably a Supreme. It's pretty apropos for him. I don't think there's anything else in here. Give it one little once over. Just to make sure. Yep. All right. Let's go find that little little kid shit starter. So really, I just. Went the long way by going in there, I suppose. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you going to go after her?
Yeah, I want to go after her. going this isn't the way that little girl went oh okay well if I had to guess it's probably skipping rocks back here She's in the dumpster, isn't she? Dang it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's sprinting. He's like, I'm going to find her. Can't get away from me, Hopscotch. She went through there. Through the wall? Oh, jeez. Hell no. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right through there. Why don't you go? I don't even care about her anymore. It's locked. It's no good. It's locked. What is she, the master of unlocking? What kind of Jill Valentine shit is this, Christina Aguilera? He has nothing to say about that. Well, aren't you special? Empty can, sink, cardboard box. None of them will be of any use. Man. How about that broom of doom? Can I have that? So we got stairs. And this is broken, so we're going up, baby. What's in here? The fuse box. What's that? Flower vase. Come on, there might be a small key in there. I need it. What's this? Liquor bottles. Did he say... I'm loving the amount of uh, environmental comments he's making in this in this area. He went all out, giving us updates on everything. And this is cool. This is really cool. Yes. Oh man. What is this smut? He's gonna say something about this, isn't he? Oh come on. This is where that little girl went to hide? I find this all very questionable that this is where she went. Where there's a bunch of liquor bottles and it, I mean it's just a regular stage. There's nothing strange about it. Yeah. It's a, it's a titty bar. We'll call it what it is. Silent Hill has it all. I'll tell you that much. Give me that first aid kit. How is my health? I guess it's fine. 
Heaven Knight. Sick Neon. Alright, and through the door we go. I like that room. It was nice seeing like that neon really pop because everything's gray and foggy or dark. Okay, cool. So now we're going to cut down onto Carroll Street. Oh, she's not coming? Uh, this is all very suspect. Oh, she's right there. Aren't you something special? Did you teleport? Okay, now we're on Carroll Street. And, yeah, we're going to go south. But you know what? Let's check north where this dead ends and see if there's anything hidden back here. Just some cones. I'm going to do some Frank West maneuvers and take one of the cones and throw it on one of the mannequins. Still with me. Can we get in? Oh yeah. Over there. Oh, smart ass. She's going to the hospital. Stop following her. I don't like this. We're going to explore the rest of this area before we go in there. <laughs> They're shutting me down. They're like, you're not going any further, dude. I want to see what's over that way, though. What if I just... Oh! Come on! Alright, we're going to the hospital. You know that little girl's the one with the graffiti, too. She's probably spray painting all this shit. This is quite an entrance. Give me the map. Woo! Brookhaven Hospital. It is huge. Okay, so here we go again. All right, we'll go into the reception office, clear out this area first. Probably be a save area in here. Let's see what this note says. Jack Davis. He has attempted suicide three times in the past in the past for reasons unknown. Although he is normally a model patient who follows doctors and nurses' orders, he must be watched closely due to his past pattern of sudden, sudden and violent suicide attempts. Joseph Barkin. His illness seems to be rooted in the fact that he believes he is guilty of causing his daughter's death. His symptoms suggest a psychotic break and paranoid delusion. Normally calm, but has a tendency towards violence when excited. 
Joshua Lewis. History of hospitalization, as well as numerous assault, battery, and other violent offenses. He has a strong persecution complex and a tendency to solve things through violence. Extreme caution necessary. Well, none of that sounds good. So, um, yeah, we on this run, we're just taking it easy and saving everywhere, soaking it all in. This is a casual run, so... Okay, so where am I in relation to... Okay. Oops. Go back in there. The potential for this illness exists in all people and, under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven, like him, to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there's simply no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. I got the purple bull key. Okay. Why are you still with me? Different types of papers and documents. Nothing of interest. So, all right. We got the key. And that wraps up this area. So, let's check it out real quick. He said he got the purple bull key, but I don't see it in my inventory. Oh, there it is. A bull is drawn on it in purple. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out, right? <laughs> There's something posted, but it's not really anything of interest. So we're going to clear out this middle section first. I'm going to go, you know what, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll check these other side doors. Contradicting my own thought process. Pharmacy is broken. That's also broken. That's also broken. Okay. And examination. Can't get in there yet. That's no good. I 
Now it said that purple bowl key had something to do with a box. So. Dang, everything's freaking locked. It's like the apartment's all over again. <laughs> it's really forcing my hand, isn't it? Man, there's like a barricade over there. Maybe we'll come out on the other side. We'll see. Keep the search up. Okay, and what's this? The steps, right? I really don't like this. A down or up? She's down. That's up. <laughs> well, all right. I guess we are going up. I am walking slowly to the second floor. Oh, and there is a third floor. Wow. Holy shit, this keeps going up? All right. Well, we'll start on two. This looks great. Oh, man, those look like... Not hospital rooms. They look like freaking... Cells. Oh, gosh. All right. And we go. It's all good. I get the special key. I'm doing great. Whoa! Jeez. You're a violent one. Wow. It's my first nurse. Wow, you take a beating. Woo! Wow. Okay, then. Why not? I don't know when the last time I healed was. And I have a ton of health drinks, so. That was cool. Give me a little jump. So this will go out to that other area, but what else is in this side of things? We have the linen room and the men's locker. Oh yeah, we're gonna check all this first. This looks like a solid area for items. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, this is the men's locker room. There's gonna be some freaky shit in here too, probably. Look at him just looking down at that. He's like, what is it? What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you oh, okay? Oh, Christ. Yeah. Great. Now the demons are going to come. The bent needle. Okay. Uh, 
What about that can of soup? No, that, that's a pop. <gasps> yes. My excitement level. Oh, man. Oh, I think I have to close the window. It's blowing the green screen. Please hold. We'll get the shoddy. This is exciting. And I am back. So we have to say, I got a shotgun. That is exciting stuff. Things are picking up. The locker won't open. So I guess that's it. We got a bent needle and a shotgun in here. Let's let's take a look at that shotgun. Oh, oh, oh. Maximum capacity, six shots. Tough to use, but can attack opponents in a group. Oh, we like that a lot. Um, in any survival horror game, the shotgun, in my opinion, the boomstick... It is the quintessential weapon in those games, in my opinion. Like, getting the Magnum is always like, okay, this is my boss killer. But the shotgun is your crowd control. You're close and dirty, just getting nasty with it, gun. There's something inside the pocket of the white lab jacket. Examination room key. Nice. Is that a football? What about the football? Take the football. She probably doesn't like football. She's not going to throw with you. So now I have to be on the lookout for... Uh, this looks like it opens. Dang it. For shotgun ammo. Examination room. Where is that? Examining room three. All right. Examining room four. Was there an examination room on the first floor that I can access? That we don't know. So what? Everything else... It's locked over there. Oh, shit. Damn thing. Like, legit. Cannot see. Really bad angle there. Okay. Wow. Before we go any further, let's go down to one and see if we can use that key. There's examination room on the first floor. I would I would feel better to just no, either yes or no. Yes. Okay, cool. Made the right decision. Maybe there's some more nurses on this floor now. Maybe they came down. I think it's up here on the right. So straight up on the right.
Medical records, nothing particularly, particularly interesting. There's a memo hanging on the refrigerator. Food only, do not store drugs. Okay. Seven, three, three, third floor patient wing hall. Make sure that, thank you. We gonna make a call. No. What's this crap? Nothing. Shotgun shells. Now it's unlocked. Anything else in here? Okay, so we got the shells and we got the memo. For the third floor. like what is that big square that says E on it oh man that's too funny up we go oh, wait wait a second examining room 2 I can't get in there but is this directly across from me Looks like there's a door on the map. It's locked, okay. Alright, we're going back to two. And we'll get to three eventually. Unless everything on two is going to be locked and I have to go to three now and that's why they gave me that code. But we will find out. So no access here. <laughs> There's only one way to go now. Here goes nothing. Check examining room.
Pick it up. Get that first aid. What's that say? Would you like to use the ink ribbon? There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can still read the imprint left on it. I know it. I know the number of the box, 9598. Uh-huh. 7335 and 9598. Can't help him anymore, but the button key doesn't scare me. So nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am is who I am is who I am is. Okay. Fair enough. It's only slightly disturbing. Excuse me. I can't believe this lady's still with me. Man, it's, it seems nuts. Oh, I hear you. You know what it's time for? enough of that creepy nasty sound I'm not dealing with it so legit I think next to pyramid head her first encounter with him I think that's the that might be the first enemy I've killed with the gun okay where are we going now M2. Lapis eye key. Shotgun shells. Man, I'm getting all the keys. So, purple bowl key, lapis eye key, bent needle. I, I dig it. We love finding items. Shit. Nice. She tried to hit me first, Winston. Man. Give me give me that health drink. Handgun bullets. Health drink. this crap oh yeah what's that say oh it's broken you're not watching the game it's toast that's it they tricked us into coming in here but you got it you got to you got to clear the map i mean let's be honest 
Okay. So we have M4, 5, and 6. Let's see if we have any more of those nasty nurses waiting for us. They're going to get the, the whooping stick. More TVs. Come on. Yeah. Drop your ass. Toast. Shotgun shells. And a health drink. All right. I think we're ready to, to move on to the third floor. Those nurses are nasty, man. I need to check that room all the way at the end. Because I came in through there, but can I open the day room from here? Well, it's better to be safe than sorry. I would hate to have made it all the way to the third floor and then been like, oh, shit. You never looked in there. What? So I have to go all the way back and close up to the third floor. That's annoying. All right, well. The tension is high. I'll say that much. So now, go through there, go in here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. And that completes that. So, stairs it is. Out of my way, lady. Why is she still following me? She doesn't like the bowl. I don't want to be her friend. Holy shit. Is that fourth floor? Roof. Okay. All right. I hear you. Oh yeah, this looks just phenomenal. Look at this nonsense. Come on. This sounds really intense. Special treatment room. Yeah, that's where I want to go.
Okay, she's too close. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. Storeroom, we're going in. Man, you gotta be kidding me. So we got the stairs, we got special treatments locked. All right, we, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna hit that area that leads to the end of the hall. Get out of my way. Nothing. Okay. Well, they're forcing our hand again. There's one way to go. Okay. This hospital is, uh, it's nuts. Oh, dang it. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, this is it. We got to go through here. Aha. So, is it 7335 on this one, or is it going to be third floor patient wing 7335? Okay. Very precise with my button presses on that. Room. What if he has to go to the bathroom? Come on. Alright. Examining room four. Let's go. You're getting looking sick this time, lady. Come on. Take take first swing. That's it. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. I hear another one. I swear I hear another one. Looks like the lock. I can't open it. Oh, yeah? Alright, we missed S1. I feel like that little, uh... thing I pricked my finger on, that bent needle, I'm, I'm gonna be able to use that soon.
was just a hangover. <laughs> what? You should rest. I, these people make no sense. None. So comfy. Yeah, this looks comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. What's this key right here? Roof key. Okay, perfect. We know where that is. Wait, what's it say? What's he gonna say about her? <coughs> Wake your ass up. I'll be okay soon. Did you find Laura? She must really be hungover. I'm like, I haven't even left the room yet, lady. Jace. All right. S3. We know that's where, where she's at. Can't get in there either. Five, six, Miss S seven. Come on. This is intense. Listen to this music. All right, I'm going down to the end of the hall. I'm going to deal with this mannequin. I blocked that. Where's the last door to be unlocked? What's it say? Something written on the wall. Luis, I'll take care of you forever. It's my destiny. I know this way four is spelled. Holy shit. Nine five nine eight is the number on the box it said. But there's multiple locks. There's that. Nine five nine eight. Four ever. Hmm. 
Wait a second. Okay, what did that do? We'll come back to that. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to save it here. <laughs>